2007 was a good year for Infinity. 2007 was a year that Infinities were hot. People absolutely loved them. Everybody wanted a G35. I don't know about you, but I remember those days. If it wasn't the coupe or the sedan, it was something about it people liked. And it had something to do with the 5.3 liter V6 under the hood of this car. It's got power, but another thing that we got going on here today is that it's a real wheel drive vehicle. And Japanese cars, even today, really most of the time are front wheel drive. So it's that feeling of power behind the wheel while driving with performance and then a little slice of luxury as well. Let's take a look at the 2007 Infiniti G35 and see how well this car's held up all these years later. So you're back with us after the intro. I hope you're ready for a great video today about this G35. Now let me tell you, my name is Chad Dobier. I'm 38 years old, it's December 12th, 2018. In January, I will turn the ripe age of 39 years old going on 40, as my wife says. And back in the 90s and in the early and late 2000s, this era of vehicles was the cars that I fell in love with and enjoyed driving. I never owned a Infiniti G35, but I've told this story once and I'll tell it twice. A friend of mine at the time had a G35 coupe. It was champagne in color, had beautiful aftermarket 20 inch chrome wheels. I drove a Toyota 4Runner SR5 Limited with hood scoop and my friend Joey said, Chad, can I please borrow your car to go to Jacksonville, Florida to go see some friends for the weekend? Well, yeah, sure, Joey, here's the keys. Let me drive your G35. Yeah, I'll do that, but take care of my G35, Chad, because I absolutely love my car. And I know you love yours, but I think I love my G35 a little bit more than you love your 4Runner. Well, let me tell you, at the time, I didn't really put a whole thought up to it. Really, I said, well, it's a G35, it's sporty, it looks good, but I like my 4Runner. Well, after the weekend passed and Sunday evening came around and Joey showed back up at my house after having a fun weekend in the 4Runner, he said there was girls and he took pictures of selfies. Yeah, we did selfies back then and said, man, we had fun with the 4Runner. I'm sure you did. I actually seen footprints up on the windshield in there. It looked like somebody was having a little too much fun in the front of my car with those smeared footprints on the front windshield. But let me tell you, I didn't want to give the G35 back to Joey. I wanted to keep it. I fell in love. I absolutely loved it. It was fun. It drove good. It was powerful, real wheel drive, and man, it was a sexy automobile. So with that being said, let's take the camera off of this fella here and let's see what the coupe and sedan is all about. Now take a walk with me. Before we really dive into the G35 sedan, let's take a look at a Infiniti G37S coupe. It's beautiful. It's a coupe. It's two doors. And this car really set things off in its time. Now, of course, this is a few years newer. I actually have an older G35 coupe in the back that I can't sell because it has no transmission. It's gone. But what I can tell you is even this body style here is just gorgeous. $8,900 for a coupe in the year 2018. This car currently today is a 2008 model. $8,900 for that car, right? But the video is not so much about that coupe there. If you're interested in that coupe and want to buy that coupe, go on my channel, subscribe, and watch the video I did on it just about a week ago or so. Let's get on back over here to the sedan. So, you know, some of y'all watching, you maybe you don't want a two-door car. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you want more interior space. Well, this is going to be that. 
I will walk around this car today, let you see the condition of the vehicle. I'll be as transparent as possible. If I see dents, stings, scratches, imperfections, I will tell you about them. If I hear squeaks, I'll tell you about them. And I'll also let you know the great things about the car, the price, the mileage, and what all it's going to take for you to come down here and actually buy this car from me at the Auto Buy Center before Christmas. Because I do want to sell you a car before Christmas because guess what? Me, I'll make a commission and be able to pay some bills and maybe put some presents up under the tree. Now the front of the car, it's sexy as well. It doesn't matter if it's a coupe or a sedan, it's still a good looking car. Do remember though, Infinity is owned by Nissan. And I got a Nissan right there, an Ultima, that just doesn't seem to want to sell, even for $2,500. Be my guest and come get it. The front's not too bad though. It's got some small little scratches right up in here. It also has a bra, which is the 3M clear bra, which is basically like a vinyl sticker up over the car. How can you tell? Well, right here, you can see that. So someone that owned this vehicle obviously cared about their car enough to put the clear bra on it. You know, it tells you a lot about a person and their car when they do things like that. Now, my opinion on these 3M clear bras, because back in the day, the bra was a big black leather piece that went on the front that made your car look like Homer Simpson with a half shave. But what I'm telling you is, is this tells you that the customer did not mind in investing to make sure their car was taken care of, which also means that up under the hood, the maintenance was probably done and things were probably kept up on it better than what some customers do on their older Ultimas. But anyways, yes, there you have it. It does got some dead bugs on the front and all that. It's a little harder to clean them off with this material here. It can come off if need be, but it's there and I would probably leave it there. The actual body on this car is in phenomenal shape. No major dents, no major dings, or anything even like that. The car's running right now. It's super quiet. When I first cranked the car up today and walked up over there to the camera, there was some squeaking going on. That's understandable. Let's take a look at the wheels. Alloys, of course. Now, Infinity's alloy wheels back in 2007 and other years had kind of like a shiny kind of alloy gloss to them. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. At one point or another, I remember that the colors of these wheels was like hyper silver metallic. It made it stand out more than just your traditional Acura TL or Honda Accord. The tires on this car are in great shape, plenty of tread. If I can get my fingers in there, we're good to go. That's definitely a plus to pull out. Brakes look fine, rotors look okay. 3M Bra is also connected to the mirror which probably needs to come peeling off at some point. $49.95 cash is the price. Some people will say, how much money down? I will tell you, it all depends on your credit score. We're not a buy here, pay here car dealership. You won't be making your payments to the dealership on this car. You'll make them to the bank. And when you pay your payments on time every month for the next two or three or four years, your credit score is going up. And that's better for you instead of going through some crap auto dealer up on Dorchester Road that's doing buy here, pay here. And when things get done, your credit is still the same score that it was when you started. This is a better route to go. Believe me, take my advice. 15 years deep in this business, I'll help you. G35X, basically the X is standing for what? All wheel drive, okay? Tail lights are in pristine condition. I love the cherry apple red that's going on with that. The spoiler looks great. The chrome looks good. Hit the button, opens up. Well, maybe not for this try, maybe on the next. But the back looks great. It's in good shape, dual exhaust. I don't have a whole lot of complaints with this car. Also, this sticker means a lot right here. Alumni means whoever owned it, again, is doing the things that are supposed to be done in life. Thank you. Tinted windows look great. Let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at the interior, then our test drive. Now the only thing on the interior of this car, which is actually a pretty simple fix, is the paint that has started to fade away right up in here, okay? Other than that, the actual seats, the interior looking phenomenal. But this here is definitely easy to fix. You take it out, tape it off, have somebody respray all this, it'll look like new. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, memory seats. Power seats, power lumbar, leather, 
perforated with the holes in it, lets it breathe and stay cooler, infinity badges, leather wrapped headrests. I mean, this is the creme de la creme of automobiles back in 2007 if you were buying a Japanese car. Lexus was on top of the game. I was working at the local Acura dealership trying to sell Acura TLs and TSXs and things like that. And I was struggling so hard to be a salesman working for a dime brand. Acura is still around today, but it just wasn't what it should have been. The interior suite, I'm loving this. All these buttons and Bluetooth and cruise controls. The mileage is what gets us on this car today. It's 241,000 miles. Some will say, is it highway or city? Your boy Chad's gonna let you know in just a little bit. The screen is still in great shape. It looks good. The colors are still vibrant and it's not all faded or torn up. Your buttons are in good shape. They're all worn perfectly. Uh, start stop engine button there. A clock, CD player, ashtray, automatic, heated seats, cup holders, smart key. I mean, the Infinity had everything you would want on a car. Even has a digital compass up top, sunglass holders, a sunroof, and oh shit handles to hold on when you're going around the corners. Passenger seats in great shape as well. Armrest looks good. This looks great. It's a really nice car. Let's go take a look in the back seats and see what's going on. Also, another positive notable mention today is that there's no check engine light on. And again, with over 200,000 miles, you bet your britches a check engine light should be on, but it's not on this one. Back seats look great. Take a look at the seats back there. Comfort is what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and have a seat for ourselves and see what it's like. I'm six foot one in height. I have leg room and this seat is pretty much all the way back. Rear air controls and vents keep the kids cool in the summer and hot in the winter with a cup of pudding pie as old Cosby would say before he was locked up in prison. You got your tablets and iPad holders and maps and all that. Is it a rear cup holder or a rear armrest? My God, that's a big armrest. It's the biggest stiffy I've seen ever in an automobile. I mean, seriously, folks, look how much room I can use here to rest my arm in position. Then this amazing Infinity really is doing a great job. I hope to say the same in the year 2019. Now the real test to come to play is to get behind the steering wheel to drive this amazing car. All right, buddy, let's hop in the car and see what it's all about. Now, what I'm gonna tell you when we get in the vehicle here is absolutely gonna blow your mind away from the research I just did online about this car. Now, before we actually drive it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the AC off and the heat off and all that kind of stuff and make it really quiet because I wanna see how quiet it actually is in the cabin once we close the doors. supposed to be quiet in here yeah it's supposed to be quiet on the inside of the car it really is and infinity did a great job you know it's a great test out here where we're at because you got a busy highway right out there so you should be able to usually in some of these cars hear the traffic going by and I'm not hearing it right now which is great now this car has 241,000 miles I'm gonna take a guess that that is mostly highway mileage one indication, and I'm not guessing anymore, folks. I'm looking at the facts. This right here, this seat belt is in great shape. It's not worn out. It looks almost like brand new still. That tells me that someone left it on for quite some time when they were on a trip. There wasn't a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out. That's a good thing to know. Also, the pedal down on the floor I looked at just a moment ago before we were recording, it's still got plenty of thickness of rubber down there. Another great thing. The steering wheel, definitely not all worn out at the top 
or on the bottom it's again it's in the wear is typically normal again 241,000 miles if it was a city car this thing would be eaten alive not the case on this car those are some positive things okay we got a phone call we'll be back all right everybody back with you so um customer called and I walk inside and pick up the phone and she done hung up <laughs> so man if you call please uh, stay on the line for more than a couple minutes I'd love to talk with you and see if I can help you out but um, you know sometimes people got things going on and can't sit there and wait I understand I'm not one to like to be sitting on hold either for five minutes you know you ever sat on hold for ten minutes before and been like dang ten minutes feels like forever when um when you're sitting on hold all right so let's uh let's drive the car oh, got a little ind indigestion i had a little chinese food today thanks to old mike tyson inside he bought me some chinese food and uh man that's giving me heartburn Whew, something serious but uh let's go ahead and drive this car let's roll the window down i always like to roll the windows down so y'all can hear the engine and uh yeah, the owner came outside a minute ago and he said, Chad, how's that car ride? I said, well, let me go drive it first. So uh, he asked me how the G35 Coupe over there drives and uh, I told him my honest opinion. I said, look, I think the wheels on it or something is messed up because it, it is a little rough on the ride. Um, you know, when you're driving an Infiniti, it should feel pretty smooth, but that car over there has got 19 inch wheels with those little rubber band tires. So uh, it could ride a little rougher, not like a Cadillac, you know? And uh, nobody said Infinity was going to ride like a Cadillac now. But uh, let's see how this is. Let's go ahead and give it, a, give it a little gas here in just a minute. My gosh. That's powerful. That's incredible, really, to be honest with you. I mean, what a lot of power out of this thing. So it makes you want to do it again. I mean, that 3.5 V6 is strong. It's just something about it, man, I love. It brings back memories of driving old Joey's Infinity back in the day. I don't know why Joey ever got rid of it, man. You know, you ever done that before? Got rid of a car that you really loved when you had it, and then you go back and go, man, why'd I get rid of that car back then? You know, sometimes we just do stupid things, you know, you get a car you love and then you sell it. Maybe something happens in life and uh, you got to, you got to get rid of it. Anyway, steering feels pretty tight on this car as well. Um, it is an X model, so I believe it's all wheel drive. According to the research I did online, today about it um, supposedly the uh, 3.5 v6 in here has 306 horsepower and um, 268 foot-pounds of torque so that's what we're feeling when we're driving it um, these vehicles sold anywhere from 30 to 38 thousand dollars back in that year Let's go ahead now that we've driven it and gotten up on it a little bit and got it nice and hot. Let's go ahead and hop out and take a look up under the hood. All right, everybody. So here's under the hood of the G35X. And um, now one thing I'm noticing right off the get-go that looks kind of out of place here. Do you see what I'm talking about? Does anything look kind of out of place right now? Yeah, you're already probably noticing it too if you know these cars. It's missing the big plastic cover that covers up all of that right there. And um, that's not to mean that the car is not going to run properly or anything like that, but it definitely is missing that cover. Um, V6, well, that means you got two air filters set up, so two intake manifolds right there on both sides. Kind of splits right through the middle there. Um, brake fluid back here, battery back there, washer fluid here, radiator. The hoses, um, you know, look okay. It is a bit dirty under here. Um, there is definitely some corrosion going on all up in this area, but not too bad. I mean, it definitely used a good cleaning under here. I mean, you got a lot of, uh, you know, just leaves and stuff like that, which kind of lets me know that this car possibly was parked up under a tree at some point. 
And uh, it's nice to see that all that's kind of covered up nicely there. Um, up under the hood, it's got your fire protector thing right there. So, you know, a lot of people tell you this right here, at least this is what I was taught, was to protect the engine. If it catches on fire, it helps dampen out the uh, fire under the hood. Also, it's kind of a sound detonator in a sense, too. So there's two great uh, reasons for that being up under there. Um, the hood does not weigh a whole lot. As you can see, the shocks still work just fine, okay? And uh, once that hood's dropped down, it definitely does get quiet out here and you don't hear the motor so much. But, uh, I mean, to be how many years old now? 2007 is 2018, 2019 in two weeks or so. I mean, we're talking eight, nine. We're talking about 12 years old. And uh, I think the Infiniti G35 held up pretty good. At least this one did. And the price is still pretty decent on there for $49.95. But man, don't the prices of cars really deteriorate and drop down over the years? They sure do. It's, uh, it's unfortunate, really, you know, that cars drop down in price so much. They're not like houses. They just don't go up in value unless you're owning some kind of really exotic car or a classic car or something like that. And unfortunately... 20 years from now, you know, would that be considered a classic? Well, 25 years is a classic, right? But would this really have that classic type look like classic cars today have, you know? Because it's 20, basically 2019 right now, you know, just a few weeks away. I mean, cars that were sold back in the 80s, they don't even have that classic look about them. You really got to jump back into the 1960s and 70s to get a feel like that. But anyways... And that's your G35X, very powerful, 306 horsepower, 268 torque, gets around 20, 23 mile per gallon. So one thing I always like to talk about now on my videos is the financing side of it, right? Because still, even today, people are emailing and texting and messaging about financing older cars. Yes, it's possible to finance an older vehicle, okay? Um, no one ever said you couldn't finance a car that's a 2007. And whoa, man, it makes you want to drive, doesn't it? Feel that power. But the thing is, folks, financing an older car, you're going to need to be under a certain mileage on the vehicle in a certain year. And usually 2007, 08, is, there's a cutoff there, right, um, on most finance companies. There is a few finance companies out there still that will finance these older cars. But you're going to need to probably put some cash down. Because they're, what the finance company is going to do, folks, is they're going to book out the car, okay? So let's say they go to NADA.com or KellyBlueBook.com. They're going to look up and see what the actual book value of the vehicle is in trade-in, okay? Because if something happens to the car, they have to repossess it. They need to be able to get the car back and be able to sell it or send it to an auction and get their money back out of it. So if you got a car that's being sold for five grand and it books out around 3200 somewhere right around there you're gonna want to be able to put at least a grand to 1500 down so they can say okay if he pays on this car for a year the car would essentially already be paid off in a sense where it's above the actual book value of the vehicle and if we repossess it or if the car gets totaled or whatever it can be paid off and we can all get the money back out of it. So please take that into consideration when financing older cars, is that that's why it's gonna be important to put some cash down on the vehicle to make it happen. Last question before we go, would I buy this car? Of course I would. It's a great vehicle, it drives phenomenal, it looks good, it's in great shape, and the 241,000 miles really doesn't scare me too much on this car because I know this was a highway mile driven vehicle versus a city mile vehicle. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Come see me soon. My name's Chad at the Auto Buy Center. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube here on Charleston Car Videos for more great films like this.